Are robots really replacing humans? It's no longer science fiction. It's happening right now. From humanoid patrol officers on the streets of China to AI sales reps in showrooms, 2025 is shaping up to be the year machines officially enter the workforce. But these aren't clunky metal boxes. They walk, talk, gesture, and even build. Today, we're diving into the rise of the new AI workers that are changing how we live, work, and think about the future. Buckle up. What you're about to see might just make you question who's really in charge. Let's start on the front lines, where public safety meets robotics. In Shenzhen, China, a new officer just hit the streets. And it's not human. Meet PM01, the country's first humanoid police robot. Standing 1.38 meters tall and weighing 40 kilograms, this little guardian wears the same high visibility vest as its human counterparts. But it brings something more. Superhuman awareness. Thanks to a 320-degree rotating waist, PM01 can scan crowds without moving its feet. It's loaded with facial recognition, license plate detection, and voice command features in both Mandarin and Cantonese. This isn't just a novelty, it's part of a strategic push by China to weave robots into the very fabric of public safety. At just $12,000, it's affordable enough for entire fleets. And it's not alone. Last year, authorities tested the RTG, a spherical surveillance bot that rolls across land and water at 35 kilometers per hour and can survive a four-ton impact. It's a literal crash proof eye in the sky, or in the lake. Meanwhile, Deep Robotics has unleashed its wheeled-legged bots, machines that can scramble up staircases and use thermal cameras to detect fires before emergency crews even arrive. It's a firefighting scout with speed, agility, and precision. These aren't just robots, they're becoming vital teammates in law enforcement and disaster response. And this is just the beginning. Now let's move into the world of industry, retail, and service, where robots aren't just helping humans. They're starting to replace them. First up is Xpeng's Android, Iron. Unveiled at Auto Shanghai 2025, Iron isn't your average demo bot. It's a 5'8", 154-pound humanoid designed to blur the line between autonomous vehicles and intelligent service robots. With a staggering 60 joints and 22 in the hands alone, Iron can perform delicate tasks like threading a needle or tapping a touchscreen with uncanny precision. No more awkward jerky movements. It's powered by a custom AI chip that performs an incredible 3,000 trillion operations per second. That's server-grade intelligence packed into a human frame. But what really sets Iron apart? It runs on the exact same AI that powers Xpeng's self-driving cars. That means your car, your robot assistant, and even your future flying taxi could share a single neural brain. Imagine that. A unified AI ecosystem where your robot knows your schedule, your preferences, and can act across different platforms and devices. In a live demo, Iron not only walked and spoke fluent Mandarin, it lifted a porcelain teacup with the delicacy of a trained server. These are not lab experiments anymore. They're nearly job-ready. But while iron wowed crowds in Shanghai, Tesla's Optimus is quietly gearing up for mass deployment. Elon Musk recently posted a clip showing Optimus walking with the most human-like gait we've seen yet. No more robotic stiffness, no more stepping on imaginary Legos. Musk says they're planning to produce 10,000 Optimus units by the end of this year, with the potential for millions more down the road. And here's the genius behind Tesla's approach. They're not reinventing the wheel. Optimus is built using the same DNA as Tesla's electric vehicles. Battery modules from the Model Y, drive motors scaled down from the high-performance Plaid, and Tesla's full self-driving computer acting as its brain. The logic is simple. If you can mass-produce cars, you can mass-produce humanoids. And if Musk's prediction holds, robots may soon outnumber people, by a ratio of 2 to 1, maybe even 10 to 1. But it's not just American giants entering the game. Chinese automaker Sherry is already deploying humanoid bots in real-world showrooms. Their creation, AMOGA, short for Artificial Intelligence with Multi-Objective Genetic Algorithm, is not only intelligent, it's market-savvy. Dressed in a silicone face and blonde hair to soften the uncanny valley, Amoga speaks 10 languages, navigates with centimeter-level accuracy, and moves at 1 meter per second. It greets customers, pitches car features, and does it all with perfectly timed hand gestures that mirror real human behavior. No sales pressure, no fatigue, no off days. Sherry calls it their human-like motion library, and based on early footage, the results are stunning. Customers aren't just interacting with a screen, they're engaging with a robotic persona that can adapt, respond, and even persuade. Think about it, one robot can do the job of multiple staffers, never takes a break, and always stays on brand. For businesses, the cost-benefit analysis is getting harder to ignore. From high-end car dealerships to factory floors, humanoid robots are stepping into roles once reserved for trained professionals. And as they get more dexterous, more articulate, and more relatable, the line between machine and employee keeps getting blurrier. If humanoid robots are charming customers and patrolling cities, then what's happening in the industries that require real muscle? 
Welcome to the next frontier, where machines aren't just smart, they're strong. Let's start with something truly massive, the Xyrex robot from California-based RRI Robotics. This towering machine isn't just a robot, it's a 20-foot-tall construction powerhouse designed to take over tasks that typically require entire crews. Imagine something out of a sci-fi film, except this one is real and heading for job sites as early as 2026. Xyrex is equipped with industrial-strength arms capable of performing welding, carpentry, and even large-format 3D concrete printing. This machine doesn't just assist construction workers, it has the potential to replace entire teams. It uses a combination of LiDAR and vision language action models, which means it can scan real-time surroundings, read digital blueprints, and adjust actions accordingly, all without human input. No miscommunications, no fatigue, no delays due to injury. And that last point is key. The U.S. construction industry is in crisis. In 2024, it recorded over 1,000 fatal injuries, the highest of any industry. At the same time, it faces a shortage of nearly half a million skilled workers. Zyra offers a bold solution, reduce risk, maintain speed, and keep projects on track. It's set to cost under $1 million outright or less than $20,000 per month to lease, which is roughly equivalent to a mid-sized crew's salary. For developers, the math could become impossible to ignore. If humanoid robots are out there charming customers and patrolling cities, then what's happening behind the scenes, in places that demand brute force and precision? Welcome to the era of machines that don't just think. They lift. They weld. They build. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's the industrial robot revolution, and it's already reshaping the backbone of the global economy. Let's start with something massive. In the towering cities of China, the QJ2 welding robot is changing how skyscrapers are built. This machine climbs scaffolding like a spider, welding structural steel on vertical beams with microscopic precision. It's fully autonomous and guided by AI, with sensors that measure vibration, wind, and joint temperature in real time. Previously, this kind of work required teams of specialists operating at extreme heights under risky conditions. Now QJ2 does it faster, safer, and without supervision. It's already being deployed on major infrastructure projects across Asia. Meanwhile, in the logistics world, there's a new class of robots emerging that don't just roll, they dominate warehouse floors. One of them is Dinobot, a hybrid transport robot built for both indoor facilities and rugged outdoor environments. It doesn't just carry loads, it lifts pallets, loads trucks, and navigates warehouse layouts with advanced obstacle avoidance and adaptive learning. In massive fulfillment centers, Dinobot replaces entire forklift fleets and eliminates the human errors that cause accidents, damage, or delays. It learns from its environment, optimizes delivery routes in real time and can even coordinate with other robots to form dynamic convoys that increase throughput. What used to take dozens of workers over a full shift can now be done by a team of intelligent machines working in harmony, without fatigue, without error, and without a union. And in the oil and gas industry, where danger lurks in high-pressure pipelines and toxic environments, a new breed of robot has emerged. Subcore X is a robotic inspector that slithers through tight pipelines, scanning for microfractures, corrosion, and leaks using a mix of ultrasonic sensors and thermal imaging. But this isn't just a diagnostic tool. It can also perform autonomous high-temperature welding repairs on the spot. It's like having a repair technician the size of a snake, capable of working inside machines too dangerous or small for human hands. These robots are already reducing maintenance downtime by 40% and cutting inspection costs in half for major energy companies. The common thread among all of these machines isn't just that they work, it's that they replace roles that were once considered irreplaceable. Skilled labor, heavy lifting, high-risk inspections, these were jobs that demanded human expertise, precision, and endurance. Now robots are not only matching those capabilities, they're exceeding them. They don't slow down. They don't make excuses. They don't quit. And it's only just beginning. We're entering an age where robots aren't just helpful, they're essential. And the heavy lifters? They've already clocked in. China has spent years on the US entity list blocked from top-tier technology, but it's now building its own AI backbone, chips, software, and hardware all in-house. And the Ascend line is central to that mission. It's more than a chip, it's a strategic escape hatch that could unleash a wave of locally trained, globally competitive AI-powered machines. From construction megabots to AI office assistants to the chips that power them all, 2025 isn't just about humanoid robots, it's about the convergence of physical labor, digital intelligence, and national strategy. Every major player, Tesla, Meta, Huawei, and startups you haven't even heard of, is racing toward a future where robots don't just help us, they run the show. And maybe, just maybe, we're already seeing it happen. So, here we are.
standing at the edge of a world that's changing faster than we ever imagined. Humanoid robots are no longer science projects or showroom novelties. They're patrolling streets, selling cars, constructing buildings, and managing your digital life. They don't call in sick, they don't take vacations, and with each update, they get smarter, faster, and more lifelike. The question isn't if robots will replace humans in the workforce. It's how many, how soon, and what's left for us when they do. Are we the creators still in control, or the carbon-based interns watching from the sidelines? Drop your thoughts in the comments, because ready or not, the future just clocked in. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.